Hello everyone. This is just a quick video on some setup options that you might want to use if you're going to use the Schweitzer S300 CBI in X-Plane. So I'm going to start by clicking on New Flight. And if I select the Schweitzer, I have a couple of options. I can either just select it here, I can go to Customize, I can change things like the color, you know, if I really care about such things. I can change the weight and balance, failures, you know, add some weapons to it. Now, the other thing that you might want to do is untick the box, start with engines running. If you want to go through the startup procedures, and I have a video for that as well, you might want to untick this box just to make sure you get that startup procedure down. There is a checklist inside the helicopter that you can click on. It's in the glove box. There is also, of course, the checklist in the manual that comes with the helicopter, which can be found in the same directory as the helicopter, wherever you loaded it, you know, in your aircraft directories on X-Plane. Now you have obviously choices on where you're going to go. I have it loaded to this helicopter training center, which is EDX2, which is a fictitious airport that's just set up for doing helicopter training type stuff. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and load it. All right. So here I am. Now here's the first thing I'm going to want to do. I'm going to want to drop my view so I can see my tax and my manifold pressure. So what I'm going to do is hit the down arrow a couple of times. You might be wondering, why don't I just use my hat switch? The problem with the hat switch is it tilts the view. So if I tilt my head down so that I can see these bottom two gauges, now I'm looking down at an angle. And that's going to kind of mess me up for further flight. So I'm going to look at my settings. And in particular, I want to look at my joystick. It's the Puma. And you'll notice my different axes are set up as follows. Zero is roll. One is pitch. Two is collective. Three is yaw. And four is throttle. Over here under buttons, you'll see hat switch zero. And you want that set to do the normal things. You know, where when you push up, it's hat switch up, etc., etc. Now, a word of warning on the Puma, on the collective, there are two toggle switches. There's a red one on the left, and there's a black one on the right. The black one on the right will affect which of these buttons are selected when you push something. So for example, I'm going to push the hat up switch and you see how that lights up. That's because I have that black toggle switch in the middle position. If I push it up, nothing happens here. If I push it down also, nothing happens. So just be aware that that's what you get when that switch is in the middle. All right, other buttons. If I pull the trigger switch, when that black switch is in the middle again, that is my transmit button, just like it is in most helicopters. There is a switch just to the left of the hat switch on the cyclic. When I push that, I have that set to pause the sim. That way, if I get into trouble, I can just pause real quick. Or if I need to take a break, I can do that as well. The button below it is my flip-flop for the radio. And this is approximately in the same place as it is on 
the helicopter that I fly at least. Uh, maybe not for all Schweitzers. The next buttons are the engine start buttons. Those I have set to the red push buttons on the collective. So the left one I have for starter one, right one for starter two. That way if I'm flying a multi-engine helicopter, I can have both of those available. The next two buttons are pretty important. Throttle governor on and throttle governor off. That is, in my case, set to the left red toggle switch on the collective. If I push it up, it turns the governor on. If I push it down, it turns the governor off. So normally I have that in the middle position. So the sim will start up with that on and that's what you want. Why do you want that? Well, I don't like to train with it on, but here's what I found. If you don't have it on and you move the throttle just a little bit, it will start with the engines running. And as soon as you touch the throttle with the governor off, if it's at a high throttle setting, it will immediately overspeed. Your engine will burst into flames and you got to restart. So I like to start with the governor on and that's actually the default. Right. There's also other buttons. So if you move that right black toggle switch, you know, here, if I push the button for the flip flop, and now if I put that toggle switch down, you'll notice that button three now becomes button 13. And that allows me to toggle a map. If I push that switch up, this becomes button 23, which I've got set to do nothing at the moment. Those are pretty much the buttons that I have set. Obviously I could set some more and I just haven't bothered yet. Let me go ahead and close this. Drop the throttle. Now that the throttle is dropped, I am safe to turn the governor off by flipping down the left red toggle switch on the collective. I'll put it back in the middle. And just like the regular helicopter, I'm going to throttle up to about 2000 RPMs. And I'm going to try to pick it up. And this is a great exercise if you're learning to fly the helicopter. Just pick it up, try to account for any drifting, and immediately set it down. So I'm going to try this a couple of times. Let me go ahead and I'm just going to pull the collective. And it might even come off the ground a little bit before the green arc that's okay it'll still fly all right so it's trying to yaw to the right so i'm just slowly feeding in a little bit and see how the nose dipped i want to get that nose back i'm just going to put it down real quick all right and i'm sitting straight up in my chair can't account for any drift picking it up and putting it back down picking it up and putting it down. All right, and do that a couple hundred times and it might help you a little bit with the actual aircraft. All right, so that's all I had for this video. It was just meant to be a quick video on how to get things set up and how to get started with this helicopter. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.